Hello my creative friends, Olga from Smart Art Materials here and I keep exploring the possibilities of the Dutch pour. So I already did it on a long canvas, I did it with black negative space and today I thought what if I add some silicone to the paint? Is it gonna change anything? Is it gonna change the whole lot of things? So if you want to find out just keep on watching and these are the colors that I'm working with today. As always, all the details and the recipe in the description of the video. Also, uh, if you give this technique a try or simply want to stay connected with fellow artists, including myself, I invite you to join our Facebook group, which is called Smart Art Materials Acrylic Pouring and Painting Admirers. Alright, let's get started! Alright, so here I have like one and a half ounces of each color and I'm adding two drops of silicone per color. I'm not sure what would be the right amount of silicone for this technique, so you know, you never know until you try. So today I'm working on a long canvas again and first applying a white base color. Uh, make sure that your paint is quite fluid so add a little bit extra water compared to other techniques. But try not to add more than 30% of water. So the last time I poured from the center out and today I want to try pouring from one side across the canvas to the other. And it looks like I have a little too much paint, so we'll see. Also I really like how these three colors work together, such a bright contrast. I don't want to lose too much paint, so I'm blowing carefully and I already see so many cells. Oh wow, this is just a cells explosion. I have cells absolutely everywhere. This is really cool. I'm not sure how I feel about this composition, but the cells explosion is just crazy. I'm gonna be moving paint around until I'm happy with it and at the end of the video I'll show you the way it looks when dry. Alright guys, here it is two days later. Purple and blue dried pretty dark, but look at this gold. It's just a game changer, it shines so beautifully. 
and I'm very happy about the way those cells dried. They didn't change their shape at all. So I'm happy about the results and would love to hear from you what you think about this new experimental Dutch pour with silicone. And also, please give this video a big artistic like. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support, commenting, and all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video. Happy pouring!